country or by other countries. Maybe even there is a rational, a, a normal woman out there somewhere, which we still haven't established, as I recall, as, as recently as about a week or so ago. So with this in mind, these would be some really good examples of some themes in these original articles. And then, of course, there were some other things that we're dealing with, with rape, correct? Yeah, repeat it again, because I didn't record there, right? so you, I think you have to repeat it. What's that? You have to repeat it, the uh, Yemen or something. Okay. So what were the other examples that we were talking about? From rape? There was another country. Somalia? Yeah, Somalia. It was Somalia. Exactly. And what was going on in Somalia? Wasn't it that they were um, executing rapists and then they turned around and um, executed rape victims? Yeah, exactly. So Somalia is one of those places where women absolutely don't know what their rights are because one time they do one thing and then the other time they do the other. So one of the first big themes that we went through at the very beginning of all this was dealing with this, this woman's theme with the law. Yes? Um, they were rapists were executed through stoning, right? That's right. They were executed through stoning. That's exactly right. Is and that, so Is that how they executed the woman also? Or? That's a good question. I'm not as sure Wait, about that. Why would that. you execute the person that was raped? Well, probably <laughs> okay, why? Why was that? Because it was looked at like, yeah, it was adultery. It was looked at as she committed adultery, and if she committed adultery, then the religious courts would punish her for violating the religious laws. So basically, as you look at this, I mean, it, it's pretty twisted. And again, there's two themes, really, that can come to this. One might be women's rights. The other one might be punishment rights in the grand scheme of things, because you've got stoning there that was brought up. Of course, the Iranian one, you've got the, the dealing of the eye for an eye justice. So that, that might be something else that we could go with. Um, but Pakistan with the hoodoo laws, the Iranian. The, um, the other one that I had mentioned to you just a few minutes ago was South Dakota. A lot of good stuff in that South Dakota law dealing with abortion, article dealing with abortion. So have a good look at that one. As far as terms go at the very beginning, political science, politics, politicians, and polity, those are all straight definitions. In the, in the grand scheme of things. And you'll probably see a couple of those on there in some form. The one that we really discussed a little bit more than the other two or three was which one? Because one of them had an article. Polity. Probably. Polity. What is a polity exactly? Um, it's a group sharing a characteristic. Yeah, you're going to be sharing characteristics. And the thought process is, is that people around the world, people everywhere, want to be included in something. And if they want to be included in something, then indeed what they're going to do is they're going to join groups, and those groups are going to be based on that shared characteristic. Well, what ends up happening is sometimes you can join together based upon inclusion or being around people that are like you, or sometimes you can join together how? Based on exclusion. Based on exclusion or wanting to exclude people or keep people away. And what was the article that I had given you in reference to this? the taco stand article. And what were some of the laws and what was the group that was involved in this? Latino the Latino community. What were some of the laws that were being passed out there? They were letting them have their like $1 taco stand. Okay, the $1 taco stands, the, the poor man's lunch. Well, dollar taco stands were being banned from different places in the cities. What else were they trying to require? or to eliminate in order to make these folks know that they weren't wanted and in knowing that they weren't wanted maybe making them move away. What's that? Speak English only. That Speak English only while you're doing official business. That would be another one and as I recall that was the one that got people a little bit angry and I think I went even so far as to mention that in North Carolina there was a school system that wanted to have the Pledge of Allegiance done in both Spanish and in English, and that got people going as well. Same kind of thing, doing your official business in only the English language. What else did they come up with in that in that Taco Stand article? You, I think you told us last week, like they banned in some places sitting on your front porch. They banned sitting on the front porch. Ruben was the one that had the article, and if you remember, the quote was, that's just what Hispanic people do. So if we don't let them sit on their porches, then they're going to be liable to move out. We're going to get them out of the particular communities. Now, again, I'm not going to say that I'm making these generalizations. I'm saying this is what that Christian Science Monitor article said. But they dealt with the only speaking of English. No taco stands. No uh, sitting on the front porches after hours for extended amounts of time. If you rented to somebody who was an illegal who got punished, 
Actually, they were going to punish both the illegal and the landlord in this. So they were going to put responsibility on those folks. And I believe they also made it, a number of restaurants were making it so that you had to order in English. And I believe also that they made generalizations in reference to certain groups of people with signs pointing to the jail, basically suggesting that this is where they belonged. Give that one a good read through because what it's suggesting is that there's a lot of small towns out there that are bonding together against people that are different than them rather than actually including them in their communities. That's really kind of the basis behind this. Yet they took, uh, st they, yet they took state and city taxes from them. Yeah, they did. They took state and city taxes from them, and, and, and indeed, in most cases, indeed, they, they would. Um, of course, if they're illegal, then the taxation issue might not be nearly as, as big of one. But, but, of course, there are also arguments there as far as services provided. There's a lot that's on this, a lot that's in this. Um, diplomatic recognition, I said NICS. The other one that we talked about from this chapter was the first ideology quiz, if you remember. The first ideology quiz that I gave y'all was actually dealing not so much with ideology, but it was dealing with economics. And there were four different categories that you could have been. Do you remember what those four were? Oh, this isn't looking good for tomorrow. Like the statist, socialist. Yeah, we're talking about the status, we're talking about the socialists, we're talking about these groups. Populist, no. not populist. Yeah, laissez-faire, welfare, welfare states, status, and socialist. Okay, when you look at these, basically how did these things fall? Socialist was in the, uh, the welfare was on the bottom right. So the welfare state was here. The statist was top left. Top left. Next to a socialist. Socialist was up here. And then you had the laissez-faire down here. This is going to be easy to get confused with some of the second ideology quiz. So make sure that you're good on this. If you remember, we were talking about regulation. And if you remember, we were also talking about 